Today, you're gonna to meet two versions of me. This version, live to camera, and this version made entirely from artificial intelligence. This is wild, but as a busy entrepreneur and a course creator, I'm actually really excited about this new technology from a company called Synthesia. Buckle up, this video is a trip. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I share practical advice to build your brand. Today I'm in Medellin, Colombia, and I'm really, really excited for this video. I partnered up with Synthesia to explore the realm of possibility for entrepreneurs to use artificial intelligence. But wait, before you freak out about how crazy and creepy this is, which by the way, was completely my first reaction, I've since learned the benefits of this technology, what it offers to be used for good. This is a company that I trust or I would not have made this video. Synthesia has a strict ethics policy. They're a member of the Content Authenticity Initiative formed by Adobe. They don't offer this software for public use and they'll never reenact someone without their explicit consent. So fear not, if deep fakes come to mind, this company is completely clear and responsible on their stance. I thought it was important to mention that up front. I've linked to their code of ethics in the description below. Now let's get to the fun stuff. First, what is Synthesia? It's a platform reinventing video production. You can make awesome videos without cameras and microphones, and you can make them within minutes. Let me tell you something. These YouTube videos that I create weekly are a lot of work because I script them, we film them, they get edited, we write titles, descriptions, and optimize them before they get posted. All in all, it takes about five hours per video, believe it or not, and it requires a team. Not just me, but with this amazing platform, you can essentially say goodbye to actors, film crews, expensive equipment. The premise is this, you select an AI avatar, in-house options, or you can create your own, as I did in this video. You type or paste your script with over 40 languages supported, and then you get your video made within a few minutes. Then you can translate, download or stream it depending on your use. Now, before I jump over to my computer and show you the platform itself, including my avatar, which we'll try out, let me quickly share two reasons that I'm excited for this and plan on using it within my business. First, personalization. There are so many ways to use this technology to make media feel more personal. For example, you can build personalized customer lifestyle journeys for your clients. An avatar can deliver information that you just have to type in several stages like customer onboarding, sales videos, thank you videos, and that's really just the beginning. Within my business, I create courses and sometimes I'll appear on camera like this. But most of the time, I share my screen instead like this, making it easier to update curriculum in the future, regardless of my environment. That's tricky as a digital nomad because I'm moving around all the time. However, the thing that's missing here is my face, the personal human connection that's guaranteed to drive engagement because that's just how humans are. Now, with Synthesia, I can pair my audio recording with my custom avatar down in the corner to make it so much better. Check this out. I don't want you to feel like you have to be on every social media platform. Unless you have a social media team following you around, documenting your every move, it's simply not realistic. Okay, that's a peak, so that's the first reason I'm excited. Personalization, the second reason, languages. Now, I am not proud of the fact that I can really only speak one language well, that's English. As a result, my courses are obviously in English. But if you think about it, language shouldn't really stop me from sharing my knowledge with people who speak other languages. Synthesia supports over 40 languages, which means I could take one of my course modules like this, and deliver it in a different language, and because I've got my own avatar, it could be my face still. Take a look at this. No quiero que sientas que debes estar presente en todas las redes sociales, a menos que tengas un equipo especializado en ellas que te asista y documente cada movimiento, simplemente no es realista. Again, that's just a little peek. Now we're going to jump into the platform itself so I can show you how I made these. 
So this is Synthesia. I'm here on the home page where they've got it really nicely organized so you can actually go and see more examples in the workflow than I've even described in this video. For technology that's so complicated, they do a really good job of explaining how this can help a variety of different people along with some really good tangible examples, synthetic voice, real voice, okay, as well as really super cool case studies, one that includes David Beckham. I'll link to this. Obviously, this is the homepage, and they've got uh, blog resources, um, cases. So there's tons of stuff. I'll link to this in the description. Go check it out for yourself. Obviously, for this video, I want to have some fun and jump right into Synthesia Studio, where we're going to make our first video together. So here, very simple videos and avatars. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create New Video. Here in the studio. So I mentioned before, in-house avatars, those are available here. Or as an optional, almost like an upgrade, they have the ability to make your own avatar, which I've done for this example for this video. So let's go ahead and click on my face there says Phil, that's me. Now what I'm going to do for this example is I'm going to attach my face to a module. We'll use a little clip from a module of my course, Content Mastery. Okay. And so what I've done is I'm going to actually set the background as an image to start. So I'm going to actually, I already have it uploaded here. I'm going to go ahead and click course example. Okay. So this is literally just a slide from my course content mastery. So that takes care of the background slide. What I then want to do is I want to customize the look of the avatar itself. I mean, it's so simple how they have this organized back here, background text, shapes, images, and music. Also the ability to upload images, but also video. It's, um, I mean, there's so much you can do here and they make it really simple. I also love that there are distinct styles of the avatar. So in this case, I I've done full body. Obviously, that is too big. So I'm going to shrink myself down probably to the smallest size here. If I wanted, I could also do this great circle layout. I mean, they, it's so cool. They have like a little snap grid here. You can even customize the color of the circle. So obviously, adjust the size. Really super cool. I'm going to stick with full body in this example. I'm going to make it as small as possible. And because I have text over left and right that I don't want to cover, I'm just going to keep myself centered in the middle. Finally, I'm going to just upload an audio clip, okay? Just for this example, I've taken it from my course. So I would upload the clip and then I have to define what language that clip is recorded in, okay? And it's really that simple. So now it's going to take the audio, pair it with the slide design, and then make my avatar move in a custom way according to the audio. Let's save and process this video. It takes only a few minutes, but I'll speed it up for this video example. So there's the video. It took only a few minutes to process, and now we're going to take a look. I don't want you to feel like you have to be on every social media platform. Unless you have a social media team following you around, documenting your every move, it's simply not realistic. Now I want to show you how I can do that second part of the example I showed you, which was the difference in language. This is where it gets really cool. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the video that I just made and down here where I uploaded my voice. Instead, I'm going to type a script. Now, given that I want to take the content and make it in a different language, in this case, I'll do Spanish. I've taken that transcription and had it uh, translated and so cool that it picks up right away on the language. Now, in this case, I'm going to make it uh, Mexico Spanish. That's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and click that. I can play the script to get a little bit of a preview here, but I'm actually just going to go ahead and generate this video now in Spanish. And I'm going to go ahead and download it. And let's take a look. No quiero que sientas que debes estar presente en todas las redes sociales, a menos que tengas un equipo especializado en ellas que te asista y documente cada movimiento, simplemente no es realista. It is so, so cool. I use my avatar in that case since I've got it, but I could also use one of the many other in-house avatars that they offer since the voice doesn't match up with my own. 
Now, finally, you might be wondering, Phil, how did you make that avatar? Well, it was actually pretty simple. I should note this is a paid add-on offered by Synthesia. I filmed it at home and read a script that Synthesia provided ahead of time. I had to read the script a few times with a few pauses indicated throughout. I also had to kind of roll my neck around so the camera could capture several angles of my face. We shot it against a plain white background with good natural lighting, and I just did my best, and I am thrilled with the final result. So there you go. My experience creating an AI version of Phil using Synthesia, one of the pioneer platforms in this industry, developing this kind of advanced technology. This was so fun. A huge thank you for Synthesia for partnering with me for this video. It's a tool that I'm really, really excited about. And it's gonna make video creation in the future a lot easier for me in some respects. So I'm pumped about that. I've linked to Synthesia below. Go ahead and check it out. If you've got any other lingering questions about this, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. And I respond to those comments personally. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos that we work very hard to create for you. And consider subscribing for more videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brands. Next, I'm sharing through a few videos I think you'll find interesting. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching, and those videos are coming up next.